Hello, and welcome to the Big Spiderbeck Museum and World Archives. Here at the museum, the story of Big Spiderbeck and his fellow musicians isn't just told through pictures and letters from our archives. We also have a number of beautiful jazz instruments, gramophones, and other objects related to orchestras and traveling. Today, we'd like to show you one of our wonderful collection pieces. At first glance, you may think this is quite the oddly shaped trumpet, but it's actually a related instrument. This is a cornet, another valved brass instrument, and the one favored by Big Spiderbeck and many other jazz musicians in the 1910s, 20s, and 30s. It has a more mellow sound and was known for playing melodic passages. This particular cornet is a shepherd's crook cornet, imported from France and sold by J.W. Pepper. This cornet's model is a J.W. Pepper surprise, which is engraved on the bell. It was likely made between 1910 and 1920. This is the same style of cornet we use to show how Bix first learned to play next to the family graphophone. It was said to be preferred by beginners, as it's easier to hold and its center of gravity is closer to the player. Modern day cornets are shaped much closer to the related and commonly known trumpet. This change began in the 1920s, when some jazz musicians, like Louis Armstrong, took to the trumpet and proved what that instrument could do for jazz and big band music. The mellow sound of the cornet faded from these bands when audience tastes shifted to the louder, more piercing trumpet. But the most interesting part of this cornet is how it got to the museum. Sometime after Bix's death, his older brother Bernie was the caretaker of the entire cemetery where the family is buried. On one day that he was pulling the weeds from around the gravestone of his brother, he met a high school aged boy who had been helping his father remove bushes around the cemetery. The boy offered a hand, and that was how Bernie met Eugene Gast. They struck up a conversation while tending to the graves about music, which eventually moved to Bix. Eugene must have made an impression on Bernie because the older man asked if he would be back again the next day. Eugene's father still had bushes to remove, and he was going to help, so he said yes. Bernie asked to meet him after they had finished. At their second meeting, Bernie gave him this very cornet. According to Bernie, it had been Bix's, and he wanted to give it to Eugene. Eugene would play the cornet while he learned music, and occasionally as an adult, but he knew how special it was and took good care of it. He went on to have a career fixing instruments and giving lessons to kids. He was a big supporter of the local Davenport Bix Fest held in the summer and frequently donated not only instruments, but scholarship money for music lessons for kids in need. Eugene Gast would eventually loan the Big Spiderbeck Museum the cornet he received from Bernie, and upon his passing in 2020, his daughter transferred to us full ownership. We are proud to display it and share its incredible story.